that, guys. Happy Tuesday to you. For this meeting, Matt and Paula have my daily one presented. So, guys, the floor is yours. We uh, did some talking, if you guys left last night, about where the problem's been. The thing is, people are talking through everything. So we take that away. That's the challenge. Silence. What? It's a silence challenge. Like a three-day thing. I think you've misunderstood the punctuation of my what. By what I meant no. We keep the cameras on them every, uh, the whole time. In the bathroom, in the shower, in the bedrooms. Are they talking in their sleep? We talk and we got proof. It's like the silent treatment from all sides for three days. You tell me that's not going to be f funny? I'm, I'm trying to be patient something... with this, but it seems like it's just two people with a Quasimodo idea. It's completely formed. We can go as far as we want to. They're boring us to death. We need to get at least one of them out of there, and then hopefully the tension will be revved up mm -hmm. after this. And this costs us nothing. We can't lose. What, what do we have to lose from and this? Please don't do that. Honestly. Can you not do Audi Please don't do that. Just talk and use words, because that just drives me crazy. It's something new. It's creative. I don't know. I mean, it was kind of the stuff we were talking about, like trying a new direction. You guys put the work into it. There is some potential. I'll play ball for a little bit. I don't think that, that we've got a solid grasp on what this actually does inside the house. I just pray this doesn't bite us on the ass. You know Makes what? sense. Good to have your support. Thanks. All right. Let's do this. Yeah. Good morning, housemates. Uh, hi. Hello. Hi. How are you all doing today? Hey, we're ready for whatever you got for us, man. We have something very special in store for you today. I'll put it in a nutshell. For the remainder of the day and the next 72 hours, you can't speak. Not a word. What happens if we do speak? You'll lose $100 a word. And in your case, that works out to about $700 or so right there. Wait, and so we're already starting? Is that another five or six? I don't know, I'll review the tape later. Good luck, y'all. Poor Tom, he was like, is it starting right now? And that was like, he got penalized, what, 700 bucks. And remember, the cameras are watching. for Paula? No, I didn't invite her. Oh. Why? There's really no need. I'm gonna show you guys. This is the results of the, the silence challenge. She's probably oh, already good. seen it. Yeah, oh, sure. okay. I didn't know what I was going to do if I couldn't talk. If I didn't have stories to tell or things to say, I didn't know what I was going to do. Right. I mean, I was kind of upset that we had to be quiet all day. But then it was really fun. What? At first, I was expecting some kind of conflict, but we got along really well, actually. It was kind of a switch. Maybe because we couldn't talk to each other, I don't know. But the, the day went by, you know, a lot faster than I thought. I, I had some time to myself. What? But actually, I found myself uh, playing around. With, with this is supposed to drag. I probably tipped my hand a little bit because his laptop was just sitting there. And so I helped him recompile the kernel so it's more efficient and will actually run the database better. But I just kind of got carried away, you know, because I didn't have anything to talk about and kind of slipped back into Wendell mode. That's my thing, you know, computers, you know, I mean, I do it all. We are totally bonding now. Yeah, speaking of bonding, I think that there's a little something, something going on uh, with Erica and Joe. And then, and then Joe and I went out to the beach and we played and that was fun. We went on the dock. You know, we were just hanging out and splashing each other. and That was a lot of fun. Three packs like looking in the binoculars and he's like, look at this. Because mm. we saw them out by the water getting a little friendly. And not too friendly, but it's definitely going that direction. <gasps> we're all like, oh, and we run upstairs and we're all like up in one of the rooms looking out at them. And Joe's like thrown Erica into the water. I couldn't really be pushed me in though. I mean, I, I didn't even expect that. Like when he scooted over, I just thought he was like getting over to be romantic or whatever. But then all of a sudden he threw me in the water. I couldn't believe it. I was totally, totally caught off guard. It was amazing. Great, the 12 year olds will eat that up. Salem was in the kitchen making something and I was drinking my tea and we were like banging our cups or something. And it turned into this big, huge musical number. It was great. A bag of cereal? Salt Sure. This is their creative solution to silence. They're getting together, they're having a good time. And yet we continue. Why are we seeing this? What about the conflict? What about it? Well, she had three days of footage collecting, right? Yeah. This is the highlight tape.
check out this sexy ass, gentlemen. This is the big payoff. And there's that. Then back to it. They had like a rodeo party. Just a good down home jamboree. There was no conflict. Because there's no reason for conflict. They just turned it into an excuse to enjoy themselves. It didn't take anything away from them. This goes on for hours. You can't, make three, you can't film for three days and not have, you know, anything. But this. Apparently this is all we have. Nothing that matters. They're... That's all we have for three days. You are looking at the culmination of three days of silence. That was an unmitigated disaster. I don't get it. You don't have to get it. The thing is, is that you, you didn't think about it to begin with. We did think of it. That wasn't supposed to happen. We were supposed to... But enjoyed that? There was God. no control on it. It was just a fun ride for them. It's garbage. We're supposed we to have a garbage episode. We're supposed to get a full episode, maybe two out of this. Your idea bombed. It tanked. Now, I, I don't want to put the blame squarely on you. Because I think it's time for you to just come to terms with the fact that Paula led you down the wrong road, pal. What? Paula? This is... Uh, no, th we worked on this together. This is not the show that we want to build. No, it's not. So what are you going to do about it? Because this is on you. I don't know you what I'm going to do about it. You at the table and you own this. I stared you in the eyes. You both. Yes, okay, so I had an idea. It didn't work out. We need to do something else. What do you suggest? I don't know what to do, Ed. I've never done anything like this before. That wasn't supposed to happen. We're supposed to hate each other by now. Well, they love each other now. Well, it was kind of cool. They did the beat thing. I don't know. I've got nothing but pushback from Paula on this from the beginning. And as far as I'm concerned, her input on this show is at an end. If I had it within my power, I'd walk her off the show myself. But instead, it's just a blank chair for me. Don't you think it's a little rash? She doesn't put forward anything. Her time is done. Yeah, I don't know. This is... <sighs> Should we talk this over with her? What would be the point? She'll say, that's not true. I've got great ideas. Let's bring Scrappy Doo in. We're done with Paula, and it's time to move on. No, that's. I don't agree. I. That's. You guys can talk about this all you want. Maybe get it from Jr. But I. We can still work with her. Why don't you sit down? What? Why don't you sit down? And we're gonna hash out some ideas. We're gonna make the show get back on course. Why don't I sit down? Why don't you take your ass and put it back in that seat? Why don't you think for yourself for once on this? What are you saying to me? I don't think you need to consult with Paula on this anymore. Paula's a partner in this production. I think maybe if you're making less puppy dog eyes at Paula and concentrating more on your job, you got something we could to say get to somewhere. Me? Yeah, Dad, maybe why don't you come right out and say it. Huh? Maybe you should take Paula's tongue out of your ear. What the f are you talking about? You. Ah! You got something to say to me? You're out of tea! We're gonna reset? So far we've seen cotton candy bullshit. There's nothing but antipathy between us. Whatever you gotta do, do it. I have some ideas that I wanna present quickly. Ed, can we, can we like focus a, like a on the... Again. Let's just set up. All right, fine, baby. What is Exclusive. going on here? Okay. Please stop this fighting. I wanna miserable time breathing. <laughs>